Efren has made some awesome shots, and I've recreated some of them, but the Efren shots keep getting crazier, okay? You think that this is crazy? No, this is crazy. Here, the game is 10 ball. Efren's opponent does a jump bank to almost make the one. He misses, but he does leave Efren without a shot. This is known as a two way because you have a chance of making your ball, but if you miss, your opponent can't make the ball in the next shot. Unless you're playing the magician Efren Reyes because he reaches into his bag of tricks and pulls that off. Like what? He uses the entire table. And in my defense, I also use the entire table, but I just use it to scratch usually. Anyways, I wanted to recreate this shot, see how Efren did it so I can use the entire table to my advantage, and I'll let you know what I find out along the way so that you can recreate this shot too. So, to start off, I remember a certain pool YouTuber, hey, it's Raleigh from Kamui, said that the key to making this shot was to use top to make the cue ball hold to the long rail after it hits the point of the pocket. So I aim directly at the point of the pocket and I crank it with top. I crank it with so much top that my cue keeps popping up in probably the worst stroke that you've ever seen. I mean, look at that. Ew. Oh, that's a bad stroke. And even though on attempt six, I kind of get close to getting the cue ball to do what I want, I'm still embarrassed by the stroke. And on attempt seven, I don't learn anything. And attempt eight, I get oh, so close. And for the next couple of attempts, I continue to crank it with topspin. I just can't consistently get the cue ball to hug the long rail, to miss the eight ball, hit the one in on a cool 90 degree kick shot. And that's when I start to think, oh, there's probably more to this picture than just topspin. Bro, probably also have to aim in the right spot. So on attempt 13, I change up my aim to aim to the right of the side pocket a little bit and it comes off at way too shallow of an angle. And on attempt 14, I try the same thing just to confirm that, yeah, that's not the right place to aim. So, on attempt 15, I change things up and actually aim left of the side pocket nipple, but I just aim too far to the left and the cue ball goes nipple to nipple and bounces out of the pocket. So on attempt 16, I aim a little bit more directly into the pocket and I hit the eight ball into the one again. And on attempt 17, because I continue to try and use so much top, I miss cue. See, don't pull up on your stroke. On attempt 18, I'm just happy I don't pop my cue up. And on attempt 19, again, I just miss the easy pocket hanger. Well, it's not that easy, but you know what I mean. And on attempt 20, I miss cue again. On the next few attempts, I make some fine adjustments to my aim to try and hit the one ball, and I don't get it quite correct just yet. But on attempt 23, I finally make the one ball off the side pocket nipple, just like Efren. Oh, wait a minute. After Efren makes the one ball, his cue ball bounces out of the corner pocket and gives him eyes on the two ball. My cue ball just hung in the corner pocket. I guess I didn't recreate the shot. I'm gonna have to keep trying until I can get my eyes on the two ball. So I set up the balls again to try and make the one and get position on the two. I get so close there, but I have to keep trying, adjusting my aim on the side pocket corner a little bit to tweak it till I get it just right. And that is exactly what happens on attempt 29. Using topspin, I aim at the right part of the side pocket nipple, and I make the one, and the cue ball comes around and gives me position on the two ball. Yeah, it comes out a lot further than Efren's shot, but I still got eyes on the two, and I have a, a chance. I, I know I'm shooting, so it's a small chance, but I do have a chance to complete this run out. So yeah, the shot, it's makeable, even with awful fundamentals. But what other important factors did I learn to make this shot? Well, first, you do need topspin so that way you force the cue ball to the long rail and make that 90 degree kick. And if you do use top, do not pop your cue up. Stroke through the ball, have a good stroke. Do not be like Brody. But the other important factor is your aim, because if you aim too far to the right of the pocket, the cue ball will come off at too shallow of an angle. And if you aim too far to the left of the pocket, the cue ball will rattle in the pocket. So yeah, if you use top and aim at the right spot on the pocket corner, the cue ball will travel right down the rail, knock in a ball, and you'll get position on your next shot. And now that I know this shot, it's time to go enter into a tournament and use this shot when I totally shouldn't. 
Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Nick's Billiards Academy for letting me film at this awesome location. God, that's an awful stroke.